Welcome to a brand new episode of the Jam Pack Report today for Christmas Eve 2019. That's right, December the 24th. If you are going out having a good time with family, hanging out around the house, whatever it might be, I hope you enjoy the holiday with your family, your friends, whoever you want to hang out with, or as I said yesterday, just hanging out playing games. Some people celebrate the holidays in that kind of way. Just because there's a holiday, oh no, the news still rolls on because today we're talking about The Witcher 3 and its combination with The Witcher Netflix show because a huge player resurgence has come back to the game following the Netflix debut. Then the Overwatch Yule Log returns on Christmas Eve. That's right, you can watch game director Jeff Kaplan once again take a seat by the fire if you were looking for a festive way to celebrate your holiday. Then you can grab a stunning Ghost of Tsushima PS4 dynamic theme for free, the best price of them all. And speaking of free, I will talk about today's Epic Games free game for the 12 days of deals, the 12 days of free games, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is Ape Out. But we'll dive into that a little bit further and then talk about what could be coming today as we dive deeper into the 12 days of freebies. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into today's top gaming news. First off, The Witcher Netflix show sparks huge player resurgence for The Witcher 3. Have you been watching the Netflix series The Witcher this past weekend? What do you think of it? Pause. I dove in. I'm on episode 3 getting ready to dive into it. This is a phenomenal show. I don't normally watch Netflix, so this is probably a skewed kind of representation. Oh, but I was like, I've heard of The Witcher. I was never a big fan of the game. I'll be the first to admit it. The Witcher 3 never did grab me like it grabbed so many others. But I thought that I would give the show a shot regardless. Man, am I glad that I did. This is a phenomenal experience. If you have not already had the moment to do so, you should check out at least episode 1 and 2. I think those are pretty good so far, and then we're getting ready to hit episode 3 later on today. But the adaptation of the book series may be dividing opinions critically on Netflix, but we've seen nothing but positive praise from fans. It sounds like a success, and the show has had an impact on The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt's player numbers across the board. Over the weekend, a reported 48,000 players once again took up the role of Geralt of Rivia on Steam, the highest number of concurrent users since the release of the game's Blood & Wine expansion pack in 2016. That is a a huge increase, and it looks like player numbers on PS4 are also rising. Play Tracker reports popularity increases across the board, meaning that Sony console owners are also rejoining the search for Siri. We even considered kickstarting a new playthrough of the game, they say it pushed square, although then we reminded ourselves of the backlog currently on our hands. Has the Netflix series inspired you to replay The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt? Uh, maybe. I'm not really sure. I, it's a big game, and I never really could dive into it. I think it was the combination of the gameplay itself, and it was just such a giant experience, you know. I don't, I'm don't. i not made of time. I wish that I was. I would totally go back and play it, but considering just how girthy the game is, I don't know that I'll ever actually get the chance to go back and give the deep dive that I really would love to. Uh, but the show is phenomenal, and it's cool to see it sparking tons of players coming back into the game. Again, that is a reported 48,000 players jumped in on Steam. A very impressive figure to say the least, and I'm glad to see the game continuing to get some love. Of course, yesterday we talked about the Witcher uh, contract between the original author Andre Sapkowski, and on top of that, uh, the relationship that he has with CD Projekt Red. It looks like more Witcher is going to be coming going forward, and now on the terms that everybody can agree on. So all in all, that's a pretty good little end to the story, and of course you can check out yesterday's show for the full scoop on that situation. But if you did wonder if the Witcher Netflix series was having an impact on the bottom line for the Netflix show, no, oh, it very well is. But the Overwatch Yule Log is returning today, Christmas Eve. Game director Jeff Kaplan will once again take a seat by the fire. Remember the 2017 holiday season when Overwatch game director Jeff Kaplan dominated Twitch by sitting in front of a fire for 10 hours? It returned in 2018, this time with a number of different hosts, including Kaplan, and in 2019, it will be back yet again. What can we expect for this year's festive season? Kaplan will once more park his ass in a luxurious armchair upholstered in what is surely the finest Corinthian leather, but otherwise it's a mystery. The 2018 Yule Log featured appearances from McCree voice actor Mad Mercer, Diva voice actor Charlotte Chung, and... Caster Sh So Schwind, I believe I said that correctly, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the guest cast lineup expanded even further this year. That's how these things go, after all. The Overwatch Yule Log and those who sit in front of it will be viewable on Twitch. A start time has not been announced, and we will let you know when the fun, which is to say, the sitting quietly, occasionally sipping hot chocolate, begins. Very exciting stuff. Now, I don't believe that it's live right now. Hold on, let's check Twitch just to make sure. Let's, let's check Twitch just to make sure. It's probably the official Overwatch channel. I would assume, uh, go to Overwatch. I think it's actually at Play Overwatch. Maybe. Play Overwatch. 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so it is not currently live right now that I can see. Uh, and on top of that, you know, you'll just have to stay tuned. Go ahead and click that live button. It'll be a good time. Uh, but definitely going to be... <laughs> I didn't even click on the, th on the link. Uh, it's still not live, regardless. So, anyways, if you want to dive in and ignore your family and friends this holiday and watch a game director sit in front of a fire, along with his friends, over the course of a giant stretch of time, by all means, you certainly can. Because it's happening live on Twitch, as most things are these days. Including me. But I'm also on YouTube, so hey, you know, take me as you give me. Uh, but definitely a good time. I love this tradition, and I'm glad to see it continuing for a third year in a row. But you can grab a stunning Ghost of Tsushima PS4 dynamic theme for free right now. Ghost of Tsushima is going to be one of the very best-looking games on PS4 when it launches next summer, rounding out the generation with what will surely be one of its best experiences. It's still half a year away, so to get you in the mood, developer Sucker Punch has released a new PS4 dynamic theme across every region that you can download for free right now. You'll need to redeem a code to gain access and kit your PS4 dashboard out in its orange sunlight, so here it is, and you can find those via the link which I have put down below in the YouTube description. But you can pretty much just search pushsquare.com, uh, grab this stunning Ghost of Tsushima, and it'll pop up right there. Uh, but it is very, very good looking. I'll be the, uh, the first to admit that it is... Pretty much the portion of the trailer that we saw at the Game Awards that shows a silhouette of the uh, ghost of Tsushima standing in the sunlight. And it's very nice. Golden has a nice aesthetic to it. Big fan of that kind of thing. And it is available in the Americas, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Russia, Middle East, Africa, India, Japan, Korea, and the rest of Asia. Around the world, you might say. Uh, so that is a good thing to see. But man, do I love Ghost of Tsushima. It's looking to be... A gorgeous, gorgeous game. Highly recommend diving into it and checking out that tra the trailer for the deep dive. There we go. Uh, but speaking of free, you can get some freebies on the Epic Game Store right now because Ape Out is currently available for download. That's right. You can get one of the year's biggest, most unknown indies, I guess, is the best way to put it. It was a game that made a bit of a splash towards the beginning of the year. Uh, middle of the year, really. No, February 28th. Wow, it's been that long. Uh, but for 15 bucks at base price, you know, go in, tempering your expectations, not a giant AAA game. But I've heard phenomenal things. It kind of has a, um, uh, trying to think of the best way to describe it. It kind of has a Hotline Miami approach to the gameplay itself. But on top of that, there's also this line of sight functionality that's very interesting. A uh, very cool use of lighting and shading in this one. So definitely dive in and give it a shot because, hey... It's free, so what exactly do you have to lose? And now it is only available until 11 a.m. Eastern Time right here on the Epic Games Store until it is replaced by what appears to be, uh, potentially, maybe, if I am going to be uh, reading into this correctly, Celeste. I believe everybody thinks this is Celeste. Uh, my personal hope is that we're going to be seeing the final day or the day after the final day be a re-giving away, so to speak, uh, because I accidentally missed Into the Breach, which is very disappointing for me because I've really been wanting to play that game. But I digress. You have to dive in, get them when you can, because otherwise they're going away forever and you're never going to get them ever. Uh, but that rounds out today's episode of the Jam Pack Report. Of course, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to drop me a like down below. And of course, I do want to say, if I don't see you over the holiday season, because I know tons of people are going to be very busy, thank you so much for making 2019 a phenomenal year. The show has grown by leaps and bounds. The channel has seen a huge surge. It's nuts to see just how many people I'm able to reach through this little podcast called the Jam Pack Report and the other content that I make. Uh, but seriously, have a phenomenal rest of your holiday season. I will talk to you soon, and peace.